Mercedes W212 E350 front strut placement of the front shocks, okay? Or struts. I'm gonna go over step by step. I'm gonna be in the corner helping you go the whole way. Uh, hopefully you can hear me over that noise. Uh, so first you gotta take off the wheel, obviously. All right, that's just for safety. Next, un unhook these uh, sensor wires. One's for the wheel and one is for the brake pad. Okay, next we'll have to pull out a pin. You'll see in a second. There you go. Make sure you hit that like button for me, okay? I really appreciate you guys that actually hit the like button. You guys are the best. And let me know if you like this style where it's POV with uh, also me in the corner talking to you guys. I did that once before and it worked pretty well, but uh, I always like your guys' feedback. All right, now that that's off, we'll, we'll undo the sway bar linkage so we can remove the strap. That's really not the way you're supposed to do it, but whatever. You're supposed to uh, use a, uh, a special tool, I think. Okay, good old uh, classic manual impact wrench. You guys get to see the whole thing i'm gonna just i'm showing you guys you know so you guys know that it's not so easy you gotta really turn those bolts a lot um, there's gonna be another one on the other side make sure you slam that like button Okay. All right. There we go. Now you just need to tap that out with a hammer. Just lightly tap it out. Definitely pull that rubber thing on top first. I loosen them um, quite a bit and then I pulled it off, but I realized it's better to pull it off right away. Okay. I'm gonna remove two of them. And then the third bolt, I'm going to remove while with my other hand holding the strut so it doesn't just fall uh, down on the ground. I'm going to install Bilstein shocks. Um, the OEM brand, I think it's like Zax or something, or ZF, ZF or Zax, spelled with a S. Um, there's the Bilstein box new Bilstein unit. Okay, pop off the plastic thing. All right, now it's time to compress the spring with a spring compressor. You can actually rent this for AutoZone. I think Google will translate this for you if you hit the CC button. 
przepiję, bo to zrobić, żeby to mniej więcej tej sprzężyny chodzić. Always tighten this with a uh, standard wrench. Never use an impact gun or anything. And you want to usually oil up the, uh, the threads with a little bit of ATF or machine oil. Um, I, I, you know, you don't want to do it with the impact gun because you, you don't get a feel of what's going on, you know? And, and trust me, you have to really respect the spring. The spring is a very dangerous, dangerous thing. I mean, uh, you know uh, how a, uh, a, if you take a pen from like a big pen and you take the spring and you launch it, achoo, that's what that spring will do, except with a tremendous amount of force. We're talking about, uh, all right, there's separation right now. So it's been compressed just enough so that there is separation. Ta sprężyna będzie super, kurwa, niebezpieczna, jak mu wyciągniesz, bo w tej chwili ona chuja nam zrobi. Tak, tak. Ale jak odkręcimy to, to wtedy nice. ona, ona może na przykład się, wiesz, ześliznąć czy coś, wtedy jebnie gdzieś, kurwa, może, kurwa, czaszkę rozpierdolić, nie? Tak, tak. Basically, uh, when that bolt is removed, the unit becomes very, very, very dangerous. Potentially injury. Okay, and you have to always respect the spring. Okay, never need to go. Na razie nie. Tak, chyba żeby ten... A tutaj widać, że się było brudne i nie. Yeah, I previously marked it with a line to kind of know how to align it just in case it matters. I'm not sure if it does. 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 Make sure that you align that bottom of that spring with this tab that's on the shock absorber. Make sure you use a special MP $2,000 tool. Don't do it this way. It's my own car, so it doesn't matter. It only needs to be torqued to 100 newton meters, which isn't that much. I mean, it is quite a bit, actually. 100 newton meters is uh, roughly three times the amount of torque required to tighten the oil filter. So it's a significant amount of torque. Yep, I'm gonna show you how to do it in real life. So it literally takes a lot of turns. There you go, and that that's actually tougher than it looks. You gotta keep working on it, but eventually you'll pull that uh, rubber. Um, but anyway, so hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new. I know it's. It was a long video, but it takes a while to do it. And I really wanted to show you what's involved, okay? If you guys like this, um, you know, POV style, just let me know, okay? I wanted to show you step-by-step step how to do it, do it yourself on how to replace the front struts on a W212 Mercedes. And also, um, what I wanted to show you is that, uh, or wanted to tell you rather is, after I switched them, I had no alignment problems. So I didn't have to get an alignment or anything. It drove beautifully and straight. And uh, the Bilstein shocks have worked great. I've driven on them for a long time now. I just haven't released this video. So anyway, thank you for watching. Have a nice day and make sure you hit that like button again. Bye.